Welcome back to Ben's Tech Lab. Today we're going to open up a package from 52Pi, also known as GeekPi on Amazon. All right, there we go. So 52Pi, 1U, 19-inch rack mount for Raspberry Pi 4B. So there's the uh, mount itself. It's pretty straightforward. You got your four positions for your Raspberry Pis, as well as HDMI ports for each and SD card slots for each. On the back of the bracket, you will see that there are some press fit threaded uh, screw uh, holes here where each of the Raspberry Pis and brackets are going to mount on here. And then we've got four uh, small white boxes, which I presume are all the parts for each Raspberry Pi to mount. There it is with uh, all of the contents of the kit that uh, came with this bracket. So we've got four sets of heat sinks and small screws, four sets of breakout boards for relocating the HDMI and SD card from the Raspberry Pi, four cooling fans, uh, and then one bag with the rack mount hardware to mount this onto your rack. So let's get some Raspberry Pis and see how this looks all built up. All right, so I've got four Raspberry Pi 4Bs here. You'll notice that I've already got some heat sinks on these guys from previous projects, but uh, the GeekPi kit uh, did come with four heat sinks here. One, the biggest one is for the processor, uh, and the second biggest one is for the memory. The next two is for the USB controller as well as the Ethernet controller. But also in these little Ziplocs is the mounting screws. So you'll find six little Phillips head screws in here for mounting the Raspberry Pi and the uh, daughter boards as well as one little standoff. So let's get uh, one of the relocation boards ready to install. So first of all, you've got the relocation board that goes on the side. It plugs into the HDMI, the micro HDMI port on the edge of the Raspberry Pi. And then the SD card relocation bracket has to go on the back. And then we've got a small ribbon cable to attach the two together. This is a little finicky, and when I was reading some of the reviews online, some people have a hard time with this. The symptom, if you get this wrong, is that your Raspberry Pi won't read the SD card because the uh, ribbon cable is not attached correctly to relocate the SD card to the front of the Raspberry Pi. So we're just going to open up. These little brackets just kind of pop up, slide it in there, and then put that little top back down. Okay, so we've got all four Raspberry Pis with the relocation board attached on the left side HDMI, the ribbon cable attached to the SD card relocation daughter board at the back. Uh, they're now all prepared for the cooling fan assembly. The cooling fan assembly here has a small hole on it to help support it, which is where this little standoff is going to go that came in the uh, bag. So we're going to first attach the standoff to each of the cooling fans. Now that we've got the standoff attached to the cooling fans, we can attach it onto the Raspberry Pis. The uh, header on here is going to go right up next to the corner, and that standoff is going to go on the last hole on the back of the Raspberry Pi, like so. You'll notice that the screw that's going to attach that standoff also goes through the SD card relocation bracket, just to keep it a little bit more secure on the back there. All right, all four Raspberry Pis are ready to mount onto the bracket. There are four holes uh, to mount the Raspberry Pi to the bracket. There's two on the Raspberry Pi itself and two on the HDMI relocation board. All right, there we go. We've got the four Raspberry Pi 4Bs mounted in the 52Pi 1U rack mount, and uh, they are all screwed in with the cooling fans attached, the HDMI and SD card relocation brackets attached. Let's get this thing mounted in the rack. All right, let's attach some network cables and see how these pies work.
after I rack mounted the uh, 52 Pi rack mount, the Raspberry Pi wouldn't boot up, which is really interesting to me because this is really the only source of negative reviews on Amazon. And so now I guess we get to figure it out. So what you'll notice if you if your Raspberry Pi is not booting up, you'll notice the LEDs on the back corner here uh, are not blinking. So it's a solid red and a solid green light. Because that green light is not blinking, there's no error code that uh, results in the Pi not booting, but uh, it's not working. So let's try to diagnose this. First thing we're gonna do is power it down again. I'm gonna unplug the USB-C power cord. The next thing we're gonna do is unplug the SD card relocation board for uh, putting the SD card on the front of this rack mount and move the SD card directly in the Raspberry Pi. This will let us test it out just to make sure that it does boot in this configuration. Then you know your SD card is working, your Raspberry Pi is working, and you know for sure that the problem has to do with the parts in this kit. If the Raspberry Pi boots up normally like this, then you know that the problem is this SD card relocation bracket. Now there's a couple of reasons why the SD card relocation bracket might not work, but they basically all are about this little ribbon cable. One, the ribbon cable might not have been fully inserted or may not have been lined up straight when it was clamped down. But the more embarrassing one that I totally got wrong is it was upside down. So on the ribbon cable, the contacts are only on one side and the other side has a blue insulated backing. The blue backing needs to be facing up away from the PCB and the little silver contacts need to be facing down towards the PCB. Otherwise it is not gonna work and your Raspberry Pi will not boot. So now we're gonna reinsert this ribbon cable with the blue facing up, which is the way I was supposed to do it the first time. Make sure it's well seated in there and then click that down. We'll do the same thing on the other side here and click that down. And then we'll reinsert the SD card relocation board in the Raspberry Pi and reattach the screw. There we go. You can see the blue and the blue are visible on here. So let's power this thing up and make sure it's working. My Elgato Stream Deck is attached to this Raspberry Pi and I'm running software called BitFocus Companion to control my video studio. So let's see if this Raspberry Pi boots up, then we'll see this come to life. There we go. So fixing that little ribbon cable fixed our Raspberry Pi and it's booting beautifully. Overall, I think this Raspberry Pi rack mount from 52 Pi offers great value. The fans on the rack mount are quieter than other Raspberry Pi rack mounts I've reviewed, most likely because they are a slightly larger diameter fan unit. The SD card relocation bracket works great too. That is after I've got the correct orientation of the ribbon cable. I do kind of wish they relocated the Raspberry Pi's USB-C power input though. The way this kit fits together, you either need to buy 90 degree USB-C power cables or buy five volt DC power supplies with the barrel plugs on them. Neither of which are included in this kit. All that said, it'd be hard to find a better Raspberry Pi rack mount for less money. So I still recommend this unit unless you want to increase your budget a fair bit. If you want to buy one of these rack mounts, there's a link in the description below. And hey, if you like this video, hit the like button. While you're down there, consider subscribing. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.